hi everyone welcome back to dmg chemistry classes and today i am going to explain two very important topics that cp is greater than cv which means that heat capacity at constant pressure is more than heat capacity at constant volume this means that if you want to increase the temperature of a system through 1 degree celsius at constant pressure you have to supply more heat than at constant volume okay and second is uh, we will derive uh, an expression or relation between cp and cv that is cp minus cv is equal to r so let us start with cp is greater than cv so before explaining this i want to tell you that when heat is added to a system then that heat increases the internal energy of the system and it also increases the temperature of the system okay and when the internal energy of system increases then certainly the system will try to do work let us explain here that here we have a gas contained inside a cylinder fitted with a weightless uh, frictionless piston so if heat is added to this system okay then that heat will increase the internal energy of the system and it it will also increase the temperature and due to increase in its internal energy the system will try to do work the system will try to expand okay and if you want to keep the volume constant then you have to stop its expansion only then the volume will remain constant and to stop its expansion you have to increase the external pressure okay or you have to change the external pressure only then the volume will be kept constant and when the volume is kept constant there will be no work done understood and second is if uh, we are not going to change the pressure pressure is held constant and heat is given to system then certainly system will do work and the gas will expand okay so when the heat is supplied to the system at constant volume then that heat is used to increase the internal energy or to increase the temperature of the system only and when the heat is added to the system at constant pressure then that heat is utilized in two ways some part of the heat will be used to increase the internal energy and other part will be used to do work understood so let us explain that why cp is greater than cv so suppose i am supplying qv amount of heat to this system at constant volume i have kept the volume constant and the temperature of the system increases through 1 degree celsius then this qv is cv that is heat capacity at constant volume okay and in this case no work will be done and entire amount of heat will be used to increase the temperature or to increase the internal energy of the gas okay now let us uh, discuss the case when the pressure is held constant now the pressure will be held constant and as i said that when the pressure is constant the system will do work okay so pressure is held constant and i am supplying the same amount of heat qv to the system again okay then this amount of heat won't be able to increase the temperature of the system through 1 degree celsius because in this case some amount of this heat will be used to do work because work work will be done some amount of heat will be used to do work and the remaining part of the heat won't be able to increase its temperature through 1 degree celsius at constant pressure okay so to increase the temperature of the system through 1 degree celsius at constant pressure i have to supply more amount of heat because only then Uh, some part of the heat will be used to do work and the remaining part of the heat will be able to increase the temperature of the system through 1 degree celsius 
and the heat supplied to the system at constant pressure to increase its temperature by 1 degree Celsius is called as what? Heat capacity at constant pressure. So in this way, at constant pressure, we have to supply more heat to increase the temperature of system to 1 degree Celsius than at constant volume. That's why the Cp is greater than Cv. Understood? Now we will derive relationship between Cp and Cv. And in my previous video, I told you that for an ideal gas, Cp is equal to dH upon dt. That will be equation number 1. And Cv is equal to du upon dt and this is equation number 2 okay and for an ideal gas we know that enthalpy is equal to u plus pv and for one mole of an ideal gas PV will be equal to RT. Okay. Let it be equation number 3. So I will substitute the value of PV in equation number 3. Then equation number 3 becomes H is equal to U plus RT. And this is equation number 4. Now I will differentiate this equation number 4 with respect to temperature. Then this is DH upon DT. It will be equal to du upon dt plus r into d upon dt of t and cancel. This is cancelled. And from this equation we have dh upon dt is equal to du upon dt plus r. And what is this dh upon dt? This is cp and du upon dt is equal to cv and this is equal to cv plus r and cp minus cv is equal to r okay and this is the required relationship and this expression also tells us that cp is greater than cv C cp is greater than cv y r okay and what is the value of r the R is gas constant and its value is equal to 2 calories or 8.314 joules. Okay. So this expression is also telling us that Cp is greater than Cv by an amount equal to 2 calories or 8.314 joules. Okay. So I hope that you might have understood these two concepts. And uh, in my next video, we will discuss uh, the work done, heat absorbed and other parameters during the isothermal reversible expansion of an ideal gas. Okay, so please keep watching my videos and also like and share and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.